Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland here in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii at PTC 20. Joining me now is Pete Jones, Chief Development Officer at Yonder Group. Welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having us. Delighted to be here. Great conference so far. Enjoying the weather. Certainly beats uh, my home territory of, of Ireland at this time of year. I'd say so. <laughs> well, for our viewers, tell us about Yonder Group, what you do, and how you're different in the marketplace. Sure. So I guess um, we are a hyperscale um, developer, owner, operator. Um, to, to us, the average requirement looks something like 20, 30 megawatts at, at the bottom end. You know, we have a, a small number of, of large customers. Um, as far as key differentiators goes, I suppose we access to capital. We're, we're part of the Cathexis group. Um, which means we have ready access to capital and at the scale that we're playing at means we can run global site selection programs, speculate on land and get things as close to ready for service as they can without being reckless. Um, we also are a solutions based company. That, that is to say, we don't we don't dream up products, you know, in, 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 in our engineering offices and then try and throw them out to customers, we spend a lot of time with customers and, and really try and try and get to the bottom of what their real problem is, not just try and kind of speculate on a product. Um, and probably thirdly, we're privately held. Um, we're pretty startup in nature and we can respond really very quickly um, to both supply and demand signals. That is to say, you know, if a customer has a, has a particular um, demand, we can respond very quickly to that. Um, but also on the supply side, if there's something opportunistic we see in the M&A space or, or on site selection, we can move very quickly there. So we believe those those kind of three elements really give us give us a kind of unique capability to build at scale and at speed. And yourself, you've been a, an industry expert for, for many years from all points in the data center spectrum, I guess. Um, and currently now, as uh, chief development officer, you're, you're overseeing some major technical project, real estate projects around the world. So what's a typical day like for you if there is a typical day? There probably isn't such a thing as, as, as a typical day. Uh, I, I spend quite a lot of time on the road, um, really try, trying to get around all of our offices and, and our customers, you know, as much face time as, as I can get. But I suppose probably what I try and spend most time on is probably hiring is probably top of mind at, at the pace we're growing. And I think, you know, we should continue to be ashamed as an industry of how bad a job we've done of diversity in, in every kind of sense. Um, you know, continuing to cannibalize a finite pool of, uh, of of the same people and not bringing new talent in is, is is something that I think we should continue to be unhappy about and should work on. So a lot of time on, on hiring and particularly trying to get more diversity, thought diversity, every flavor of diversity you can think of into the company. That's probably number one I'm spending time on at the moment. Number two, like quality time with customers and that, you know, not in a pestering salesy kind of way, really trying to be um, in lockstep with um, what their problems are and consequently continuing to refine our solutions to those. And then thirdly, is actually probably spending as much time with our people as, as, as we can. I mean, we've, we've grown 3x from a headcount perspective um, in the last uh, 12 months. And, you know, really trying to keep the culture alive and, and that startup environment is something we care a lot about and consequently spend a lot of time on. What are some of the big changes that you're seeing in the industry? I suppose thinking about, you know, maybe thinking about a new decade and so on. I suppose, you know, 10 years ago, we thought that, you know, two or three megawatts was what, what was a big requirement. You know, thinking about 10, 20x that scale is, is and, and only growing. So I think scale is, 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 is a massive one. Going hand in hand with that is that pricing expectations have never been more aggressive and time to market expectations you know have 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 never been um so punchy so i think really the fact that the scale has gone up so radically um and those other two constraints on 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 price and schedule you know are can continue to have aggressive expectations so trying to pull that off has become ever more complex in a resource constrained world um so that's i think you know that that's maybe the the, the 10 year, not postmortem, but certainly review of where we were in 2009 and where we are in, in 2020. What are big things uh, coming up for you guys in 2020? 2020 for us is it is a big year. Our, our um, site selection uh, kind of global program that we're running will probably top out at a, just about a gigawatt of pipeline there, which is really exciting for us. Um, we're opening our first office in the Americas in the Bay Area and also um, really stepping up our game in, in Asia Pacific. We've got a, got a team mobilizing there in, in Singapore. So those are probably the, the real highlights that, that are, that are going to be coming for us in 2020. More to come. We'll be watching for sure. So where can our viewers go to learn more about Yonder Group? 
website, social media? Yeah, so uh, yondergroup.com is our website. Um, we are trying to do a better job of, of thought leadership that is, is meaningful. Uh, we've got a podcast that, that goes out on a not regular enough frequency. It tends to be centered around events and so on. Um, and also we, we, we try and get get meaningful content out there on a reasonable frequency on, on our LinkedIn page and also on the website. So those, a combination of those are good places to look. Okay, there you have it. Well, thank you, Pete, for joining us. Thanks ever so much. And thank you, viewers, for joining us here on JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.